Welcome to module 13, rule number one, or envelope requirements. What is rule number one? Per ASME standard, rule number one means the surface or surfaces of a regular fish of size shall not extend beyond a boundary or envelope of perfect form at MMC. From here, we said there's a boundary there, and this boundary is equal to the MMC. And all of the surface of fish of size should be within this boundary. Let's have a look of the joint here. This is the fish of size with size tolerance. The MMC boundary means 5.0, and there's a boundary, and this boundary is the true geometric form. This is the true geometric form. It's a straight cylindric boundary. All of the surface of this cylinder should be within this boundary. We can simulate this boundary with a gauge. Here, there's a tube. And the diameter of this tube is 5.0. This one is simulating the true geometric form of this MMC. This, this pin should be fitted into this boundary. Meanwhile, all of the local size or diameter supposed to be within tolerance. If all of the local size is at the MMC size 5.1, any local size is 5.1. That means this feature of size is at MMC status now. Then you are not allowed to have any deformation. Otherwise, you will be over the MMC boundary. That's why we say if this path is at MMC, then the form should be perfect. If the diameter is smaller, then you are allowed to deform. The smallest diameter is 4.9. Anyway, the local size is 4.9. In this case, you will get a maximum deviation is 0.2 or maximum straightness. From here, we know that rule number one, if it's applied to the side tolerance, then it's going to control the maximum deviation of the form. And the rule number one is the default requirements. If you look at it here, rule number one is the default is default condition for fish of size. If it's default, that means you should always regard this size tolerance as two requirements. The first requirements is the local diameter. The second requirements is the rule number one, the MMC boundary. But how to check this? As we explained, you can make a gauge with the inner diameter of MMC size. This part supposed to be go through this gauge. At the same time, the local diameter should be within the size tolerance. Here is the relationship between the local size and form tolerance. If the local size is at the MMC size here, no form tolerance allowed, such as straightness. If the local size is 5.0, you are allowed 0 0.1. In that case, you are still within the rule number one. The local size 4.9 is the smallest size. The parts will get the maximum deviation 0 0.2 still within the rule number one boundary. Rule number one will control the form tolerance and this default requirement. If we want to put form tolerance directly to the part, this form tolerance should be smaller than size tolerance. 
as we know in the previous one, we know side tolerance is plus minus 0 0.1. The maximum form deviation is 0 0.2, for example, straightness. This straightness 0 0.3 is not okay. So this join is not correct because there's a default rule number one here. You need to make this smaller. Next, since rule number one will apply to the pin, it will also apply to any fish of size, such as hole. This is the hole, and here there's a rule number one default requirement. The rule number one means the MMC boundary, and here is a boundary here. MMC for the hole is the smallest hole, it's 5.0. We can use a gauge pin to simulate this true geometric form at MMC is 5.0 pin gauge. And this is to simulate the MMC boundary. We can use this gauge to verify that this part is satisfying the rule number one requirements. But before we doing that, we have to verify the local diameter is okay. We're going to check each section, the local diameter is within the tolerance. And then you can verify with this gauge to check the rule number one is okay or not. Rule number one in ISO GPS, we call these requirements as envelope requirement. The symbol is circle to E. And the Envelope requirement for ISO GPS is not default. You have to put this symbol behind the size tolerance. In that case, you have a MMC boundary requirements here, or rule number one. This is different from SME. SME rule number one or envelope requirement is the default, but for ISO GPS, the rule number one is not default. You have to put this E circle symbol here in order to have a rule number one requirements. In that case, if you look at the same join, according to different standard, we may have different answer. For example, here is the pin, here is the hole. The question is, could we inspect install this pin into the hole? This is the question. From size point of view, the maximum size of the pin is 5.0. The minimum size of this hole is 5.0. So from size point of view, it looks okay. But if you consider the different standard, then you have different answer. According to ISO GPS, this size tolerance only controls local size. They want to control full pin deformation. And there's no rule number one requirements here. The part could be deformed even the local diameter is 5.0. So there's, con there's interference between these two parts. In order to install this pin into the hole, you have to use the rule number one or envelope requirement or circle E here. In that case, these two parts will be okay. Here is the MMC boundary, and here is the MMC boundary for the hole. Both parts has rule number one requirements here. Now the function is okay. And this symbol, you can find this from ISO GPS 11.01. For SME standard, since rule, num rule number one is the default, you don't have to add anything here. The function of these two parts will be okay. But so far, since rule number one represents the MMC boundary, so the rule number one usually used for the function of assembly. If the function is the assembly, then 
rule number one makes sense, right? Rule number one can control the form tolerance, but it's only applied to the single feature of, feature of size. This is the size of this pin. Even there's a rule, rule number one here, it only controls the single feature of size. Yes, there's MME boundary here, the MC boundary here, but this MMC boundary won't control the perpendicularity. This 0 0.3 will not contradict with this size tolerance, or size tolerance cannot control the orientation tolerance. This join is okay. All right, as we mentioned, rule number one is used for the function of assembly. What about if this part is not for assembly? So in that case, we, we may not need to use the rule number one, right? But how to override the rule number one since rule number one is default? There's a couple of ways. Number one, you could use this symbol according to SME standard, I circled independency requirement. Once you put I circled here, that means size tolerance is independent from form tolerance. There's no relationship between two of them. There's no more envelope requirements here, as there's no more MMC boundary here. This circled I is default requirement for ISO GPS. And this symbol is only exist in SME standard, not in ISO GPS, because ISO GPS is default independency. Again, here and here, both join is correct. SME join, you have to use the independence in some symbol here for ISO GPS, no need. Here is default. Number two, if you applied straightness of axis to the parts, then the rule number one will be overridden. Straightness has two kinds of straightness either surface or axis. If this straightness is applied a a line with the dimension line here, that means it's the axis of this pin. If this straightness applied to the surface, that means it's the straightness of this surface. As we said here, straightness control applied to fish of size such as axis, right? In that case, there's no more rule number one. This tolerance value is allowed to be bigger than size tolerance. Another situation is flatness applied to the medium plane here, or the center plane. You see here, here's flatness. Flatness can be applied to the surface or can be applied to the center plane here or the medium plane. You see, here is a line with this dimension line. That means the medium plane of two surface will be controlled by this flatness. We will explain this in the later module about the flatness to medium plane. But so far, all we need to know is if the flatness apply to the medium plane, then there's no more rule number one. Same thing here. Same thing here. If the straining is applied to the axis or center line, there's no more rule number one. The value is allowed to be bigger than size tolerance. Number three, you can write a special noting here. Perfect form at MMC not required. As we know, if there's a rule number one here, if the part is reached at MMC, the part should be at perfect form. But if you write perfect form at MMC not required, 
then there's no more rule number one. And this is a kind of opposite or old way to override rule number one. You could use circled I or independency symbol here. It's much simple. And rule number one, there are some limitations for application. Rule number one does not apply to the flexible parts such as rubber or soft parts, plastic. And the rule number one does not apply to stock size such as bar stock, tubing, sheet metal, or structure shape, because those kind of, those kind of material is governed by the industrial standard and all of the tolerance it remains in the as furnished condition. Quick review about this module. In this module, we have learned what is rule number one. SME default is rule number one, but for ISO TPS, default is independency. And we know there's two symbols. There's I independence symbol and there's an E circled envelope requirements. And there's also we know the relationship between the rule number one and the form tolerance. And there's some exceptions how to override rule number one. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next module.